Welcome back to EDU90. Tim here, and on this episode, we'll be taking a look through some of the more than 50 announcements made during the Learning with Google event. If you missed the event and want to watch on demand, you can do that as well. Check out the links in the description below for more. But for now, we've got a lot to cover, so let's get to it. To start, we introduce the next era of G Suite for Education, now Google Workspace for Education. Designed to offer more choice and control, there are four new additions to meet your organization's needs. Find all the details in the video description below. Next up, Google Classroom. Coming later this year, admins will be able to create classes and populate and sync rosters directly to Classroom from any student information system. And we're helping admins debug Classroom-related issues and their deployment by providing Classroom events and audit logs. Later this year, we'll be making the Classroom mobile apps work offline or with intermittent connections. Students will be able to start their work offline, review their assignments, open drive attachments, and write assignments in Google Docs, all without an internet connection. And that's not it for Classroom. Educators will be excited to hear that they'll soon be able to integrate their favorite third-party tools directly within Classroom. Admins can deploy and manage these tools as needed, so teachers and students can access everything they need in one place without having to navigate various logins. And later this year, we're launching student engagement tracking inside Classroom. Educators will be able to see relevant stats to help them understand how students are interacting with Classroom each day, such as which students viewed a course or submitted assignments. On the Google Meet front, be on the lookout for new features that put teachers in control of the virtual classroom in Meet. These include improved Classroom and Meet integration, co-moderators, and functionality like muting or ending the meeting for everyone on the call. We also shared that Meet now works better with low bandwidth and announced improvements to Meet on Chromebooks, as well as meeting transcripts. Educators and admins will soon be able to receive meeting transcripts that can be used to share with students, review what was discussed during class, or maintain a record for future reference. Now, let's shift the focus to Chrome. The Works with Chromebook program enables schools to easily find accessories like mice, headsets, hard disks, and drawing tablets. Check it out in the links below. And for years, teachers have been recording lessons for students to watch and rewatch instruction anytime to make sure they heard something correctly, to get an answer for their homework, or to study for a test. But this past year, screencasting has gone from niche to commonplace to downright critical. That's why we announced that we're building a screen recording tool right into Chrome OS so teachers and students can capture instruction in real time in the classroom and at home. Well, that's all the time that we have for this episode. But there are a lot more updates to explore via the links in the video description below. In the comments below, we'd love to hear which of these new features you're most excited to check out and try with your students. We'll see you next time. CS First, Minecraft Education Edition, Learning with Google, and more. Check out our last episode for quick news on popular tools for schools.